Hey everyone, Adrian Morrison here and in this video, we're just going to do a quick overview on customer service and how important this really is if you're building a brand. Now, if you are just dilly-dallying around trying to make a couple extra bucks, I still recommend that you offer customer service, but if you're trying to build a real brand and um, you plan on doing volume, then this is going to be very, very important for you. So a couple of things that I just want to mention. Um, good customer service equals a long-term business, all right? You cannot operate an e-commerce store successfully for a long period of time if you never have any customer service. And believe it or not, a lot of people um, try to do that and they fail miserably. Now, I'm not saying that you have to hire a massive team of employees or anything. Um, you can operate it yourself starting out, but eventually you may want to pass it on to a virtual assistant. Um, good customer service builds trust with your customers. And um, this for me is huge. We respond to tickets um, within 24 hours when somebody emails us. And um, we have found that a lot of people that would not have purchased um, through our customer service we've been able to convince them to, to make their purchase. So you build trust with customers. I mean, when they send you an email and you actually respond and you do it in a timely manner, it just established trust, right? And it uh, makes them feel more comfortable purchasing from you. Um, when you're using uh, a customer service platform, I would highly advise that you use a real domain. A lot of people use Gmail. Um, they'll go in and say, my brand name at gmail.com and just tell customers to email their you know, personal email address. And that looks sketchy. It looks, um, it looks like, a, like a one man show is really what it comes off as. Because any established company is gonna have a real like support email address. So all of my support tickets go to support at mybrandname.com, right? So go try to buy your domain name for your brand and then just set up an email address for it, support at yourbrand.com. And that's just gonna seem nicer. Once again, it's gonna increase that established trust factor from your customers and um, it's gonna look like you didn't just start this up in your basement, right? And uh, I believe that's important. Um, it's worth hiring a virtual assistant to handle customer support for you. You should be focusing on ads and product development, not sitting there answering tickets. Now, you may not get a lot of tickets, right? Um, especially when you're new and you're just starting out, um, you're not gonna get a lot of customer support um, tickets. So it's easy to do it by yourself. I mean, sometimes people, the, the types of customer support questions you're gonna get are like, I put in the wrong address, I need to change it. Or um, how long is this, for how long is this gonna be on sale? And stuff like that, just, just real simple stuff. Um, and what I found is good customer service equals repeat business and good customer service equals increase in conversions. So when somebody sends us a support ticket and uh, asks us a question, like how long is the chain on this necklace, even though we have it listed on the sales page, they'll ask some funky questions that they could just read on our website. When we respond to them, they get excited. And they go, oh my gosh, thank you so much for responding. I'm going to order it now. Or um, they might just simply now believe in you because you responded to them in a timely manner and go back and feel more comfortable ordering more items, which we see all of the time. You know, the idea isn't to always have to acquire new customers. Um, the idea with e-commerce is to build a customer fan base that come back on their own, right? And they remember your brand and, and you get tons of repeat business that's absolutely free. And a good customer, good customer service and support will give you that trust, established trust and repeat business 
And when people have questions, even if they're silly, um, if they get an answer, that will tip them over and get them to go ahead and make their purchase. So it will increase your conversions. Um, there's two main apps um, that I would suggest, one of the two, um, you choose one of these two to help you with customer service. Um, the first one is Zendesk. It's built into Shopify and um, it's really easy to use. It's built into your Shopify dash um, if you install it. And the only downside is it's pretty pricey. I mean, <clears throat> it can get expensive for this software. Um, the other alternative, which is what I use, is called GrooveHQ.com. Um, this is a customer support desk that's operated outside of Shopify, and it's um, far more cost effective. So it's way cheaper to use, and um, they've got pretty much all of the same tools and options. They're just, um, you got to go to GrooveHQ.com to log in, um, not your Shopify store. So they're both great apps. I just chose the more cost effective one. And I like Groove because you may not want to give your virtual assistants access to your Shopify store. Um, you know, the ones that do customer service. So I like, I like that it's operated outside of Shopify. I think it's really nice. So um, I'm going to just real quickly, I'm going to go show you the inside of um, Groove and Zendesk's uh, sites. So you can just get a good idea of what they look like and what they have to offer. So let's dive into my web browser now. Okay, so when you are in your Shopify store, if you want to find Zendesk and check it out, you just come up here to the button that says visit Shopify app store. Now just so you know, we're down here where it says apps um, on the left hand menu and you click on visit Shopify app store when you do that, under right, where it says search right here, just type in Zendesk. And Zendesk app comes up. It could be $5 to $99 a month. They give you a free 30-day trial. So you can try it for 30 days. And um, they are literally, they're the most popular app for customer support. So it, they're really nice. I mean, they do have a great system, but they are, like I said, pricey. Um, if you want to install it and test it out, you just hit the get button and it will instantly install it in your store. Uh, you can also, let me turn the volume down on this. You can watch their app and it'll give you a, a really good idea of how their system works and what types of things they, they offer. And this is an e the easier option. Um, it plugs right into your Shopify store, right? So I mean, that really does simplify things. And I tried it out to start with, but I'm actually quite happy that I moved over to, to Groove. So let's go over and look at Groove now. All right, so here we are on um, Groove.com. So we're at Groove.com. And uh, of course, this does not install to your Shopify store. You actually would come up here and log in right here where it's this login button is at the top right but they have a really cool app and um it's very simplistic i think it's actually i think it's actually easier for a, a novice to to learn how to use groove it's just very straight to the point zendesk is very very robust so groove hq is really nice and um, you can see kind of the inside here. It's just a, it's like an email inbox, but you can tag all of your customer service messages, um, create accounts for your customer support staff. You can view reports on your average support ticket time. It's uh, it's really nice. Yeah. So you can come here and watch this video if you like at GrooveHQ.com. Pricing on it is uh, well, they have a free trial but it's about $15 per user per month as you add employees to it. Um, with Zendesk, trust me, it's more expensive. And um, you can come over here and check out an overview of what they look like, how it works. Uh, the great thing is both of them offer uh, free trials. So you get the opportunity to test both of them 
and um, they both are nice. They both have pros, they both have cons, like anything else. Um, this has easy email integration. They have great documents on you know, how you can integrate everything with, uh, with Groove and Zendesk, makes it very easy. So um, yeah, I suggest Groove because that's what I use, but either one of them will work out perfect for you. They're both great options. Uh, at the end of the day though, customer support is important this is a part of e-commerce and um, it's more intelligent to integrate up front when you're not doing a lot of volume than to start doing a lot of volume and then go oh my gosh I need to set up customer support because you know then you, you kill some of your credibility if you're not answering support tickets so take this seriously up front and look at this as you're building a real brand that you really can sell one day, right? Um, and do it the right way out of the gate. Customer support is one of those things that you'll learn more about in our section for uh, team building. So we'll, we'll have an entire section on building a team where we will talk about customer support a little bit more. I just want you to realize how important it is and um, it is easy to set it up but a lot of people don't do it out of the gate and they end up regretting it. I want you to do it out of the gate. If you have good customer support, it's gonna increase your conversion rates and it's gonna build credibility and establish trust. And people are gonna come back and they're gonna buy more stuff. And look, people might send two or three, you might get two or three emails a day. At first, just answer them yourself, but eventually as you scale, hire a virtual assistant to do it um, you can find great virtual assistants for a really good price and um, it's an investment for your business. We have a whole section on where you can find virtual assistants as well. So make sure to watch that. But that's it for this video on customer service. Um, hope you learned a little bit and now you understand how important that is if you did not already. And um, I'll see you on the next video.